Picking the right fish species can mean the difference between success and frustration. In this video, you'll learn about the most popular fish for farming, what makes them great choices, and how to decide which one is perfect for your setup. Stick around, because the right decision could transform your farm into a thriving business. Choosing the right fish species is one of the most important decisions you'll make as a farmer. Each species has unique needs, growth rates, and challenges. Picking the wrong one for your environment can lead to poor growth, disease, and wasted resources. For example, some fish thrive in warm, shallow waters, while others need cool, fast-flowing streams. And it's not just about the water. You also need to think about how much you're willing to invest in feed, equipment, and time. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly which species matches your farm and goals. Now let's look at some of the most popular fish species and why farmers love them. Number one, tilapia. Tilapia are like the superheroes of fish farming. They're hardy, easy to grow, and can adapt to different environments. They grow quickly, which means faster returns on your investment. For example, tilapia can reach market size in as little as six to eight months under optimal conditions. There's a strong demand for tilapia in the market, especially in regions where they are a staple food. Farmers often find consistent buyers in local markets, grocery stores, and restaurants. However, tilapia require careful management of water quality. They thrive in warm water with stable pH levels and good oxygenation. Poor water conditions can lead to stunted growth or disease outbreaks. Number two, catfish. Catfish are great for warm waters and can tolerate less than perfect conditions, making them ideal for beginners. They're bottom feeders, which means they're less picky about food and can thrive on pellet-based diets. Farmers often mix commercial feed with low-cost alternatives like soy or maize. Catfish farming has a relatively low cost of entry. Simple pond setups with aerators are often enough to get started. One major advantage is their rapid growth rate. Depending on the species, catfish can reach market size in about six to nine months. Aeration and water management are critical. Without enough oxygen, catfish can become stressed, leading to slower growth or disease. Number three, salmon. Salmon is a premium fish fetching high prices in the market due to their rich flavor and nutritional value. They need cold water and a bit more investment in technology, like recirculating aquaculture systems, RAS, to maintain water quality and temperature. While salmon farming requires significant upfront investment, it can be highly profitable for those with the right setup. Farmed Atlantic salmon is the most common variety, and it's often raised in offshore pens or land-based tanks. For example, Norway and Chile are leaders in salmon aquaculture. Salmon farming offers great export opportunities as demand is global. However, farmers should be prepared to manage diseases like sea lice and invest in high-quality feed. Number four, carp. Carp are versatile and can thrive in ponds, rivers, and tanks, making them a popular choice in regions with diverse farming systems. They're a popular choice in Asia, especially China and India, where they're a staple in local cuisine. Carp are hardy fish that can tolerate fluctuations in water temperature and quality. This makes them ideal for farmers in areas where other species might struggle. They're excellent for polyculture systems, where multiple species are raised together. For instance, carp can coexist with tilapia or catfish, utilizing different layers of the water column. While carp farming is cost-effective, it's important to understand local market preferences. In some regions, carp may not fetch high prices compared to species like trout or salmon. Number five, trout. Trout love cold, clean water and are highly valued for their premium meat. They're perfect for areas with access to natural streams or cold water recirculating systems. Farmers need to pay close attention to water quality 
as trout are sensitive to pollutants and temperature changes. Regular monitoring is essential to maintain optimal conditions. Rainbow trout is the most commonly farmed species and can reach market size within eight to 10 months. Trout farming is popular in North America and Europe, where demand is high in upscale markets and restaurants. By understanding the strengths and challenges of each species, you can choose the one that aligns best with your farm's environment and your goals. So, how do you decide which fish is right for your farm? Here are some key things to think about. Climate and water temperature. Each fish species has specific temperature needs. Tilapia, for instance, love warm water, while trout need it cold. Water quality. Do you have the resources to keep the water clean and oxygenated? Poor water quality can lead to disease and slow growth. Market demand. What fish are people buying in your area? You'll want to choose a species that's popular and easy to sell. Feeding requirements. Some fish, like catfish, are less expensive to feed, while others, like salmon, need high-quality diets. Disease resistance. Hardy species like carp can withstand tougher conditions, making them a safer choice for beginners. Think of these factors as pieces of a puzzle. The better they fit your farm, the better your results will be. Once you've chosen your species, it's time to set yourself up for success. Start small. Experiment with one or two species before expanding your operation. This helps you learn without risking too much. Research local regulations. Some areas have strict rules about what species you can farm and how to manage them. Test your water quality before stocking your farm. Make adjustments to pH, oxygen levels, and temperature as needed. Talk to other farmers or aquaculture experts for advice. Learning from their experiences can save you time and money. By taking these steps, you'll build a solid foundation for your fish farm. Even experienced farmers make mistakes. Here are some common ones to watch out for. Overstocking. It's tempting to fill your pond or tank, but overcrowding leads to stress, disease, and slow growth. Ignoring local demand. Focus on fish that people want to buy in your area. Farming a species no one wants will leave you stuck with unsold stock. Cutting corners on water management, clean, well-oxygenated water is essential. Don't underestimate the importance of regular monitoring. Avoiding these pitfalls will help you stay on track and achieve long-term success. Now you know the top fish species for farming, their unique benefits, and how to choose the one that's right for your farm. Whether you're drawn to the resilience of tilapia, the profitability of salmon, or the hardiness of carp, the right decision starts with understanding your farm's needs and goals. By taking the time to plan and prepare, you'll set yourself up for a thriving and sustainable fish farming journey. If you found this video helpful, make sure to hit the like button to show your support. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tips and insights on fish farming and aquaculture. Tap the notification bell so you never miss a video. We're here to help you grow your farming success one step at a time.